द स्टैंडर्ड की बोर्ड इज द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल फॉर की बोर्ड एंड इट इज मेनली यूज टू फीड द data into the computer system whatever the key you have typed that is recorded in a key log by using these device the user is going to manually feed the data into the computer system Hello to all a warm welcome to my new session I am Revathi faculty department of computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysuru today we are on the first session of second chapter and the chapter name here is input output memory device before going to start my today's session let me to discuss the marks allotted for this chapter so in this chapter you can able to expect one mark one question then you can able to expect two marks one question then you are going to get three mark one question so total you are going to have six marks that means from this chapter you can able to score six marks so here you are going to have one mark question 1 then two mark question 1 and you are going to have three marks question 1 and if you study this chapter thoroughly then you can able to score six marks that means you can easily score six marks out of six marks moving further in today's session i'm going to deal with what is input device along with that i'm going to discuss the some of the examples of input device that is nothing but keyboard then mouse then joystick these are the some of the examples for input device so now tell me what is input device so here input device is nothing but the way used to feed the data in simple word it allows the user or other program to enter the data to the computer system so here input device is nothing but the it is used to feed the data to the computers now tell me what is data here data is raw fact or unprocessed data unprocessed data so for example for data here is text or number images or audio file these are the example for data so here data is nothing but the unprocessed data or raw fact and the example for data here may be text or number or image or audio file or video file these are the example for data so here the input device is nothing but the device it allows the user to feed the data or other programs into the computer system so here input devices are classified into two types that is human data human data entry device entry device then source source data entry device i repeat here input device is also further classified into two types that is human data entry device and source data entry device now tell me what is human data entry device so here human data entry device is nothing but the device that allows the user to manually 
enter the data into the computer system. Then some of the example for human data entry devices are that is keyboard, mouse, joystick, etc. Then what is source data entry device? So here the name itself indicates that we are going to use some other source to feed the data to the computer system. I repeat, in source data entry device, the name itself indicates that we are going to use some other source device to feed the data into the computer system. Then some of the example for source data entry devices are OMR, OCR, etc. Then what is OMR? That is optical mark reader. Then what is OCR? Here OCR is nothing but optical character reader. So these are the two main types of input device. So here input device is nothing but the device that is used to feed the data into the computer system. Moving further, we are going to have keyboard. So this is the example for human data entry device. That means here human beings are going to enter the data manually. So a keyboard is the most common and most popular input device. Here keyboard consists of alphabets, numerical keys, functional keys and punctuation keys. So if I say alphabetical keys, then what is the meaning of alphabetical keys? So here alphabetic keys starts from small letter A to small letter Z and it starts from capital letter A to capital letter Z. Then now tell me what is numeric keys. Here numeric keys nothing but the numbers. So here the number starts from 0 to 9. Then what is functional keys. So here keyboard consists of F1 to F2 where different functional keys. Then what is punctuation keys? Here punctuation keys are the special keys that is semicolon, colon, double quote, single quote, etc. These are the example for punctuation key. Then now tell me how your keyboard actually looks like. So here your keyboard actually looks like typewriter. Moving further, we are going to have the different types of keyboard. That is, we are going to have standard keyboard. Then I'm going to have ergonomics keyboard. Then I'm going to have wireless keyboard. Then I'm going to have virtual keyboard then I'm going to have compact keyboard that means in type of keyboard I'm going to have five different keyboards that is nothing but standard keyboard or compact keyboard virtual or wireless or ergonomics keyboard so these are the five different types of keyboard. Let's see these types of keyboard one by one. Now tell me what is standard keyboard. So here the standard keyboard is the best example for keyboard and it is mainly used to feed the data into the computer system and the number of keys supported by this standard keyboards are that is 105 or 108 and the type of keyboard is called QWERTY keyboard. That means I'm going to consider this letter Q then I'm going to consider 
this letter W, then I'm going to consider this letter E and I'm going to consider this letter R and I'm going to consider this letter T and I'm going to consider this letter Y. The another name for standard keyboard here is Q W E R T Y keyboard. Dear student, now tell me what is the disadvantages of this standard keyboards. That means suppose if I use these kind of keyboard for a longer time, then my fingers are get started painting. Moving further, I'm going to have another type of keyboard that is nothing but the ergonomics keyboard. Now tell me why we required ergonomics keyboard. So here in order to reduce the stress we required ergonomics keyboard. Now tell me what is ergonomics. Here the ergonomics is nothing but the study of method that is mainly reduced to stress on the muscles. So here ergonomics keyboards are designed in such a way that the typing can be done by putting the least amount of stress on the fingers. That means suppose if I use standard keyboard after working for a longer time I may get muzzle pain. In order to avoid that one, we are going to have ergonomics keyboard. So here the ergonomics keyboards are designed in such a way that it is going to decrease the stress on the fingers as well as wrist. So dear student, just remember that this is the radical type of keyboard and this is mainly used to design and prevent Keppel Tunnel Syndrome. So here the ergonomics keyboards are mainly designed to reduce the stress on the muscles. Moving further, we are going to have wireless keyboard. So here wireless keyboards are the keyboards that does not need to be connected to the computer via the wires. That means here the wireless keyboards are the keyboard. Suppose if you want to connect this kind of wireless keyboard to your computer system, then you does not require any wires. So here the connections are achieved by using Bluetooth infrared and radio frequency. That means in wireless keyboard, we are going to have Bluetooth technology or we are going to have infrared technology or radio frequency. Suppose if I want to connect my wireless keyboard, then I can able to connect my keyboard through any one of the technologies like Bluetooth or infrared or radio frequency. Along with that, I can also able to use batteries. That means suppose if I want to connect my wireless keyboard to my computer system, then I can able to use batteries. Moving further, I'm going to have virtual keyboard. So here virtual keyboards are nothing but the software device. So if it is software device then we cannot able to touch and we cannot able to feel the keyboard. So here virtual keyboards are the software device that left you input data just like hardware keyboard. That means here virtual keyboards are the software device that allows the user to feed the input to the computer system same as hardware keyboard. They open up as an application. That means when you open any application along with that you are going to have virtual keyboard. For example, you can consider online banking. Suppose if you want to 
transfer the money that time you are going to get the virtual keyboard through that you can able to feed the data so here the virtual keyboard always appears with the application that means whatever the application you are going to open along with that you can able to open virtual keyboard and that can be controlled by a mouse via touch screen that means you can able to control virtual keyboard with the help of mouse or with the help of touch screen so the virtual keyboards are also used in certain situation that is concerning security as i told i have taken the example of online banking suppose if i want to provide the security for my online transaction in that time i'm going to use the virtual keyboard so suppose if i use ordinary keyboard then what is going to happen whatever the key you have typed that is recorded in a key log that means whatever the data or whatever the input you have given to the computer system that is stored on the key log so that leads the misuse of sensitive data so that leads to security risk associated with password or pin number so because of these reason the bank provides virtual key that means suppose if you want to perform any online transaction that time bank application going to provide virtual key so with the help of virtual key you can able to provide data security so if i use ordinary key what is going to happen whatever the data i am going to feed into the computer system that is stored on the key log and the third person may misuse those sensitive data if i say it is sensitive data then it may be your password or your bank pin number in order to avoid this one what the bank application they are going to do they are going to provide virtual keyboard moving further i am going to have compact keyboard so here the name itself indicates that it is compact that means it is slim and it does not contain any numerical keys you can able to see this image here you are going to have alpha numerical keys along with that you are going to have functional keys punctuation keys etc but here you cannot able to find any number keys that means here at this corner you are going to have number keys suppose if you are using compact keyboard then here you are not going to find any numerical keys so here a uh, compact keyboards are slim and usually do not have the numeric keypad that is present on the right side of other computer so the best example for compact keyboard is your laptop keys that means you can able to find compact keyboards in your laptop so here your right side does not contain any numerical keys so dear student you can able to find the compact keyboard in your laptop that means whatever the keyboard that comes with the laptops are called compact keyboard and it does not contain any right side of the keyboard that means it does not contain any numerical numbers on the right side of the keyboard moving further i'm going to have another type of input device that is nothing but the mouse so why we required mouse here we required mouse to select the item 
and we required mouse to open the item at the same time suppose if i want to resize my window then i require mouse so what is mouse stands for here mouse stands for mechanically operated user serial engine i repeat here mouse stands for mechanically operated user serial engine and the mouse is the most commonly used input device now tell me how the mouse is going to work so the display screens are made with the help of pixel so here pixel is nothing but the small dot and the resolution of the display screen that is depends on the pixel so when you move the mouse when you hit certain pixel that position is transferred into electronic signal based on that the mouse is going to work so when you are going to hit the certain position of your screen that is nothing but the monitor the signals are converted into electronic signal and that is passed to your computer system so here mouse was the most popular pointing device and which was developed at the sanford research university then mouse can be used to control the position of cursor on the screen but cannot be used to enter the text that means here mouse is mainly used to control the position of the screen and by using mouse you cannot able to feed the data into the computer system so then here mouse is comes with the two button that is left button and right button so this is your left button and this is your right button so suppose if i press right button what is going to happen you are going to get long list of menu i repeat suppose if i select or if i press right button then i'm going to get the long list of menu suppose if i use left button then i can able to point the item suppose if i double click this left button twice then i can able to open the file moving further let's see the types of mouse so here we are going to have two types of mouse that is nothing but the mechanical mouse and optical mouse so the best example for mechanical mouse is this one so here we are going to have one ball so when we rotate this ball it is going to find the position on the screen then we are going to have optical mouse and it is mainly based on the led so what is led stands for that is light emitting diode so here the mechanical mouse is mainly based on the rotating ball whereas the optical mouse is mainly based on the led that is nothing but the light emitting diode moving further i'm going to have another input device that is nothing but the joystick so here the name itself indicates that the device comes with the stick that means you can able to rotate the stick so joystick also a pointing device which is used to move the cursor position on a monitor screen that means by using joystick you can able to move the cursor throughout the screen and it is mainly used in the field of controlling video games as well as simulated programs so these are the some of the examples for source source data 
input device that means by using these device the user is going to manually feed the data into the computer system dear student now tell me suppose if i press key a in my keyboard what is going to happen when i hit the key a that is converted into ascii code that means when i hit the key called a that is converted into ascii code then what is the ascii value of capital letter a that is 65 that is transferred to computer that means the computers are capable to understand ascii suppose if i press small letter a what is going to happen the ascii value of a that is 97 is given to computer system because here the computer is capable to understand ascii code so dear student in my today's session we had discussion regarding input device so what is input device here input device is nothing but the device that is used to feed the data into the computer system at the same time we had a discussion regarding the types of input device that is nothing but source data input device as well as human data input device then tell me what is human data entry device so here the name itself indicates that the human beings are going to feed the data manually into the computer system the example for human data entry devices are nothing but keyboard mouse and joystick dear student in my next session i'm going to deal with the source data entry device there i'm going to discuss what is ocr what is omr what is scanner so these are the some of the examples for source data input device dear students let's meet in my next session with some more information about source data entry device until then take care keep learning thank you